sincerely from the bottom of our hearts for coming today, celebrating with us. This has been a work of love, passion. The designers that have worked with us have been absolutely amazing and we really want to thank you for coming out and spending this time with us and taking a tour of the model home. We're very excited that we have with us this morning our distinguished Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake, and it's through her force of vision that she has been driving the Vacants to Value program in Baltimore City, and it has had an enormous impact. I can tell you from our experience with selling a lot of the homes in the city that the Vacants to Value money that's been offered by the city as an incentive to home buyers, which with most of the homes that we've sold has been about $10,000 per home buyer and it travels with the house. It's not dependent upon income or anything like that. It's, it goes with the house. So every home buyer basically qualifies as long as the house is a vacant to value property. This particular property here was a vacant and boarded property. Julie Day from Baltimore Housing just gave me a picture of what the house looked like before we got started and it's amazing. And you'll get an idea in a sense when you walk through the house and you look across the alley what the houses looked like before we got started. So I would like to first recognize our distinguished mayor for all of her hard work and her belief and her vision to provide the funding to us as developers and home buyers to make these houses work and bring home buyers back to the city. One thing I think it's really important to recognize is that this is an enormous opportunity for everybody to participate. In cleaning up and redeveloping these properties, we're raising the property values, we're creating community amenities, we're increasing local tax revenue, and we're attracting new residents and businesses. Through the Vacants to Value, we're getting more of Baltimore's vacant and abandoned properties cleaned up, renovated, and we're doing it much faster, more efficiently, and it's much more economically feasible. At the start of the initiative, Baltimore was home to 16,000 vacant buildings. To date, the Home Ownership Booster Program has 117 households that have settled or a pending settlement with the assistance of this popular program. In fact, the Office of Home Ownership, with these enhanced incentives, added more than twice as many families on the road to home ownership in 2012 compared to 2011. So please join me in sincerely welcoming the driving force behind the Vacants to Value program, our Mayor, Stephanie rawlings Blake. Thank you so much, Anne, for the introduction. There aren't too many times that I am so blown away that I'm almost speechless, <laughs> but after seeing the model home, I am absolutely blown away. It is exquisite. And to think that your price point starts at 150 is unreal. Absolutely qualify. unreal. What did you say? You could qualify for a booster. Right? Yeah, and, I, and with the booster? I am just so excited to see all of the work that we're doing come together in such a beautiful way. And for those of you who haven't seen the model home, I was thinking as a, at a, as a starter home for someone, how much my, the quality of my life would have improved if I had a second level bar. <laughs> as, this, as, this, as this home, very innovative. Anyway, so today is another milestone in the, our initiative known as Vacants to Value. And I'd like to thank Ann and Ellen of City Life for their continued support and their continued partnership. You know, when you work with quality partners, you get quality pro products and we're able to attract families to Baltimore. I'd also like to thank my housing commissioner, Paul Graziano, as well as the deputy commissioner, Julie Day. Uh, fantastic job 
I, I asked for a program that would work for Baltimore. They gave it to me, and the proof is in the pudding. Uh, we are making it work. We're selling homes. We're rehabbing neighborhoods. This is a great, great day for our city that we have a, a wonderful leadership team uh, that's working. Michael Braverman, Ken Strong, Peter Engel, uh, all of them. Uh, they are they are on the field every day, you know, moving us down and, and making progress. This is a mo a beautiful model home, and and I, I know that Councilman Warren Branch was just as impressed as I was as we were walking around. Uh, I hope you get a chance to see it, uh, and and appreciate the craftsmanship, the quality of the work. This is a a a quality home, a really beautiful home. As as Ann said, it was once vacant, and a detraction in the community and now it's an asset it serves as a model model home showing residents old and new what's possible in this community i'm thrilled that city life has plans to rehab 50 homes throughout the city i i told ann as we were walking around the home today this is what happens when you have women in charge you get quality <laughs> product I guess I should be nicer as the men are operating the cameras, right? <laughs> so I'm honored to be standing with all of these, uh, all of you, but particularly the women who are here today. They've been building beautiful homes since the 80s. They begun in Butchers Hill, moved to Canton, Patterson Park, uh, Oliver, now in Middle East. And thanks to City Life, prospective home buyers can come to this model home this custom and custom design their vacants to value property. They can custom design their future. The mission of Ann and Ellen is to restore and rebuild housing while working with the community to make neighborhoods safer, stronger, cleaner, and healthier. They're committed to working with and building strong partnerships with minority business. They're not simply about constructing buildings or restoring homes. They're about building communities. It's their passion, and you can see it in every inch of this model home. They've definitely made their mark on Baltimore, and I love that. Uh, this is what Vacants to Value is doing all over Baltimore. We're building on our strength. We're creating new ways to bring 10,000 families to Baltimore and give people who are here an opportunity to move up. I know there are plenty of people who would love to stop renting apartments and to move into a beautiful home. It's affordable. It's gorgeous. It's, it's great, and it can be done. With partners like City Life and others, we can do it. Thank you so much, and God bless. Thank you, Mayor Rawlings Blake. Now I would like to introduce to you a woman at Baltimore Housing that has worked so closely with us for how many years? So many, several. For, for many, <laughs> many years. And we, could, we would not be able to do what we do if it wasn't for Baltimore Housing. We talk to somebody at Baltimore Housing probably every day. So I'd like to introduce my dear friend and colleague, Deputy Commissioner of Land Resources, Julie Day. Thank you so much, Ann. It, you know, it's so exciting to be here. I couldn't, you know, of course the mayor always speaks best, but, you know, I just, did, as the council president office says, ditto. <laughs> um, Councilman Branch, good to see you here this morning, and, and, and Ms. Andrews, great to meet you. Ellen. Congratulations, and congratulations. Um, this is really a great day for vacants to value. I mean, we, you know, we often get lost at our desks, land transactions, and a lot of time it's like watching paint dry. When's it gonna happen? When's it gonna happen? And then when it happens, you know, and when it's palpable, I mean, we get excited. So a lot of our team comes out here to, to share in, in your success and excitement. I wanna point them out, Bill Bergee, Tony Badan. I think Val Stewart is here somewhere, Mike Guy. Um, Art Gray, Anita, uh, Sharon, I, and um, I would be definitely remiss if I didn't mention that my partner Joan is here today. It's her first event. Thank you. School teacher's life gets to come to these things in the summertime. <laughs> so that thank you for coming. Um, we've worked with, as Ann said, we've worked with them a long time. And I have to tell you, they were the original visionaries. I mean, they were the, the loss leaders, the risk takers, and really the visionaries. And when our marketing team came up with the idea that to look at our properties properly before buying them, you needed rose-colored glasses. <laughs> Ellen and Ann were the original rose-colored glasses now, and wearers. And, and luckily now, we only need these to look out the back of this house because look at this view out here. 
And look at what we have coming down the street when the school opens. This, I mean, this is just spectacular, beyond the work in the house, which is, is just wonderful. So, so soon, we won't need these rose-colored glasses anymore to walk through the, the, this neighborhood, and it's thanks to the work that the two of you are doing. Um, Mr. Kinsley's here, and I want to thank him especially. We met in a really unusual circumstance. Ann and Ellen were looking for a new partner, and, and he was like, well, what's this vacancy to value thing? You know, am I really, should, is this something we should buy into? And so he came to the office, and the building was evacuated. You know, and 13 flights of steps later, we went to the diner and continued the conversation. So it's a real testament of commitment you know, to the program. We thank you for being part of it, for working with us, and for making Baltimore the, the, the great neighborhood, it can be, the great city it can be. Ms. Andrews was telling me, you know, they, it's really um, a testament to the commitment of their family, too. Dean Andrews and, and Ms. Andrews live in the community now, and she'll talk a little bit about her house, but it, it was one was vacant, one was condemned, and Anne and Ellen were able to convince them of the beauty that was ahead that they, they bought in. So I thank you for that and for coming to Baltimore and being a part of this as well. I encourage you all to invest in Baltimore, rebuild Baltimore, Help us grow. Mayor Rollins Blake, thank you so much for your support and uh, your leadership, and thank you all for being here. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. I want to tell you a little bit about the what we're doing here, what our, what our approach is. Um, as you're aware, our approach is unique. And it, we're striving right now to make custom luxury home buying experience available and affordable to all parties. And a home buyer typically will select his location or her location. So they could decide that they want to be near the new school, which is going to be right here on Ashland Avenue, the new K-8 through school, which Dean Dave Andrews is responsible for. Uh, or they could decide that they want to be on Broadway in a highly transited area, the big houses, 2,500 square feet, right on a main thoroughfare, a boulevard, if you will. Or they could decide that they want to live on a, a block that's more residential, like Caroline, up in the Oliver community. So we're giving them that option and to, to select their location. And then what we're doing, what City Life's doing with Kinsley Construction, and thank you, Julie, for mentioning that, is that we have partnered with Bob Kinsley and Kinsley Construction, and we will be, through this process, custom designing the homes. And this is what makes the Baltimore homes so unique. Because it's not like you go in and there's a, you can choose Model A or Model B, and that's basically your option. We're custom designing the homes for the people to move into. So if uh, closets are more important, we're focusing on closets. If it's the back sp outside space, the backyard, decks, we're focusing on decks. And that's very a very unique way of approaching the market, but due to the market activity and due to the incredible tax incentives and other financial perks, we're able to offer these homes as starter homes anywhere between 150 to 300,000 depending on the, st the style and what we're putting into the homes. I would like to say a special thank you to some companies and individuals who have shown tremendous support and without whose effort this great day would never happen. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, thank you for your support with the Vacants to Value program. It has made a significant contribution to our sales effort, to the neighborhood, and to everybody involved. All the homes we currently have under construction are all vacants to value homes. All 50 homes are vacants to value. Julie and Baltimore Housing, thank you for your leadership, your support, your guidance, helping us out in a couple jams. Uh, Julie knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> And uh, we want to especially thank also Michael Braverman, who was with us at the very beginning when we developed the whole vacants to value concept, and he helped guide that. I want to thank my partner, where is she, Ellen Burke. Ellen's been my partner for over 14 years, 
running around with those rose-colored glasses on with me. Uh, and I, I, I can't, I could never do half of the things I do if we weren't working side by side. And you have put your heart and soul into this house, into the community, and I want to thank you for that. You've worked tirelessly. I think you, we finished last night around 2 a.m. or something, wasn't it? Uh, so thank you for that. But in addition to what Ellen's doing with City Life, she's also on a lot of community boards, serving the community. She's on the security team, etc. So she really reaches out to everybody, and that's what we love about her. I want to thank Councilman Warren Branch. Thank you for all your support over the years. You continue. Continue. The councilman said continue to support. Thank you. You're the guiding light. This is your community. This is your district. This is where you've worked so hard. We are so looking forward to working with you moving forward. I would especially like to thank Kinsley Construction. You know, please, Bob. When I, I say that, I, we say that from our heart, is that Bob came in when we really needed somebody to partner with us in some houses in the Oliver community. And Bob came down and took a ride around with us a couple of times and did what he does so well, said, we'll partner with you and made the process so easy. It was mind-boggling how easy it was. But in addition to that, you know, we have standards and we're all, you know, in the community, we have, you know, standards that we want to meet as far as minority businesses, woman-owned businesses, small businesses are concerned. Bob doesn't, isn't mandated by that, but he practices it anyway. He basically opened up his company, his operation to us and provided so many resources of incredible people with years and years of experience like Tony Myers, Aaron Cree, Aaron's over there in the blue shirt, Jonathan Stahl, Fawnetta. I mean, if you can imagine as a small business to have these resources available to you at, at this level. Tony just finished doing a beautiful, and Aaron, a beautiful house on Broadway. It's 1218 North Broadway. We welcome you to come and visit that home. You might like that one too. <laughs> it's a, it's a three-story. It's beautiful. We bring lots of light in, so we love to anybody that wants to see it. We love to share that with you. And 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 this whole point about developing local businesses, we're working with Living Classroom Foundation. We're working with Howard Wicker. We're working with Vaughn. We're working um, to develop a program now. We want a we want a competitive bid together. And we're going to be training people. Part of the, the funding is going to be provided to train people from going from re-entry all the way through to home ownership. And I can proudly say that this week, probably on Friday, we're going to be selling and settling that home on Bond Street, 1417 North Bond, to a gentleman that went through this whole process and made it from prison system to home ownership. Mm -hmm. It's huge. And I just want to thank, I mean, I'd like to thank 100 people, but I'm worried that it's going to start raining. So uh, I'm going to thank uh, some people and everybody I know. I'll thank you personally uh, anyway. But Steve Appel and Lee Whitehead, they're small business owners. They have an interior design company. They have been side by side with us throughout the process. Another woman-owned business, Baltimore Window. Pat's here. Where's Pat? Okay, Pat, thank you. Pat to the, the windows and the cabinetry. Brooke McDonald, Steve McDonald from Erie Insurance. Steve was a sponsor from the very beginning. Thank you, Steve. Burgess Lighting. This green door here was uh, the concept of a good friend of ours, Cindy Olson, who just came over. She's an interior designer, and she said you have to have a green door because you have to stand out in the community. The Jordan Fay Contemporary Gallery. Kathleen, Eduardo. When you walk through the house and you saw all that magnificent art, it's, these are all local Baltimore artists. That's their work in there. Thank you. And, and, and to our minority, a couple of our minority participants that are not here today, but Howard Ware, 
He did the mine, he did the masonry work for us. Started out as a one person operation. He now has several people working for him. I think Tony, don't we have Howard doing three houses for us now? So Howard, we're a small local minority business owner as a part of the team, and John Thomas also another local small business minority is working with us also. So we're trying to include everybody. There's room for everybody to participate, and we love to have everybody on the team. I now would like to introduce to you Marty Andrews, who is our happy homeowner. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'm just humbled to be in such presence of such honored guests here, the mayor, the councilman, and most of all, for all our wonderful neighbors here in East Baltimore. There's one I'd like to thank, um, Mrs. Gloria Guthrie, who's been a resident here for over 35 years, right here on Collington. Yay. Congratulations, that is great. I just want to tell you a little bit about, we are fairly new residents to Baltimore, Maryland. We moved here from Columbus, Ohio, a landlocked city, and I love the harbor here in Baltimore. What a gorgeous place to live. We also had all kinds of choices about where we were going to build a home or buy a home here in the city when we moved here. And um, you've heard mentioned that my husband is involved with the school right here across the street. And so we came down here very, very frequently and thought, why not live, you know, close to where we would work? And I work at Hopkins School of Nursing, so we thought this location is absolutely ideal. We um, purchased two row houses, one condemned and one was in pretty bad shape. And we interviewed about eight contractors uh, to renovate the properties. And um, without a doubt, as soon as we met them, we chose Ellen Burke and Ann Riggle just because of their design and their forward thinking. And um, if you went in the house where the stairs weren't even up and you couldn't even get to the second floor, I couldn't believe how they could talk us into what the renovations would look like in the future. Uh, we are so pleased with our home. All along, we kept with CHAP, the um, Historic and Preservation uh, Commission's guidelines so that um, we would keep it looking like it did when it was originally built. And the other thing that we did throughout is we used all local and minority businesses. So we did Krug & Son for our ironworks, the oldest ironworks in the country, as I understand. We did Chesapeake Tile and Marble. We did Baltimore Window Factory, and Pat Stout is here. They did all our 26 wooden windows. Uh, as well as all our cabinets in the kitchen and bathrooms. Our house is beautiful, we love it. So if anyone would like to see our house, I'd be glad to. <laughs> you can check with Ann and Ellen, and again, we'd be happy to show it. We'd like to get all 10,000 families down here in this area, we love it. So thank you again, and um, if anyone has any questions about living here, in the community, I can attest that it is a wonderful place and the homes are gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. We appreciate it. And we'd also like to thank our families. A lot of our family members are here today working and helping us out. So thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Kayla and Laurie and John and everybody. Uh, we'd like to invite you now to take a tour of the property um, and we're going to have Mayor Rawlings Blake cut, cut the, the ribbon. ribbon. Three, two, one. Woo!